All right, guys, let's talk about a really cool new feature in OBS, which is a stinger. What's a stinger? It's a really cool animated transition for your video productions. Let's check it out. So an animated stinger is essentially a, a video file that goes over the entire landscape of your, whether it's a 16 by 9, 4K, 1280 by 720 resolution canvas, goes forward and just kind of blasts out the entire screen, and then it cuts to the next scene. So let me show you what it is, and we're going to add one. Then I'm going to show you how to make one yourself in After Effects. So first of all, let's hit the plus button and let's go to Stinger. Let's show that full screen and I'm going to show you exactly where that is. So the plus button right here in Scene Transitions and then we're going to choose the Stinger option. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we're going to call this, I'm going to call this Logo Swipe. You can call yours whatever you want. And we're going to choose a video file. Now I have a, a whole bunch of video files and course information in this folder, the OBS course files, and you'll find the Stinger folder here. So this is a Stinger with our logo, but I'm going to show you how to create a Stinger with your logo as well. Now one of the things that you want to do is you want to set a transition cut point. That is the part of the video where it's full screen and you want it to automatically switch to the next scene. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Boom. Just like that. Now that we've done that, I am going to go ahead and use it. Now I'm going to add it to my quick transitions here. So in the middle there, we add it to our transitions. Now when I hit logo swipe, it shows. Boom, it cuts. And now I'm at my next scene. That is what a stinger is. Let's show it one more time. Stinger shows the logo. You can have audio also attached. It cuts when it goes full screen. There's a lot of different ways to do this, but I want to show you guys how to make your own because I think that you can put your logo in there with a little bit of After Effects help and you guys are going to have your own custom stinger. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible. It's not an After Effects tutorial template, but we're going to do this as quickly as we can. So let's pull in our PNG file. I'm going to throw it into my file area here. And I'm going to make a new composition that's simply going to be three seconds long. So we'll call it Stinger. Oh, let's do this right. Stinger. And it looks like two seconds, 219 is what I used last time. So let's stick with that. It's supposed to be short, about two seconds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pull our little square on here. This is my little square. Let's zoom out just a hair so you guys can see this better. There it is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with it like really big and it's going to go small and then come back big again. So we're going to start it there. I'm going to hit the S key to go to scale and I'm going to start a little keyframe. So those keyframes are basically over time where you want it to move. So we want it to move in to about 100%. Let's see how that looks. Oh, we want it even smaller and you can just drag that to kind of make it small. Oop, we want it to go right there. So we want it to go big to small, and then we want it to spin a little bit. So I'm going to hit the rotate button, add a keyframe. We want it to spin one rotation. Whoop, and we want it to start at zero rotations. So now let's watch that animation really quickly by hitting spacebar. Whoop, that's all we need. Then we're going to have it sit there for just a second, and then we're going to have it spin out. Boom, just like that. So that right there is an example of a stinger with your custom logo. And then it cuts when it goes full screen. Now all we gotta do is hit File, Render, Export, Add to Render Queue. Now when we click the lossless button, just wanna show you this, we are going to click RGB with alpha. There must be alpha channel on this stinger in an AVI file for it to work. It must be transparent for it to work inside OBS. So once we have that file, boom, we can do a stinger cut. You can also add audio to it. That's how it works, folks. I think it's really going to add a lot of great production value to your system. Also, one more little tip. If you want to add, get a great stinger and you don't want to use After Effects, then you can go to videoblocks.com and search for transparent stingers. They have tons of them there. 
you have to become a member. Uh, there's also some on Video Hive. Great place to get custom stingers to make your OBS productions that much better. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you learned a lot. This is part of our OBS course where you can learn all about, really this is an updated course for 2019, 2020, covering all the latest bells and whistles in OBS, how to become a great video producer with OBS. So I hope you'd enjoyed it. Hit that like button and subscribe. Take care guys, we'll see you soon.